In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run multiple DHCP servers on a single router. So we're going to go to IP addresses and the first thing that I'm going to do is to assign an IP to the bridge. So there are two ways of doing this. So if for instance your bridge uh, add one port, just a single port, you could uh, you could actually assign the IP address to that port or even if your port is not in a bridge, you could still assign it to the port. Or because uh, port 4 and 5 are in bridge 2, so I'm going to assign the, the IP address to the bridge. So in turn what it will do is that uh, any device that is connected to any of these ports, port 4 or 5, will actually get a, a, an address from the DHCP server. So I'm going to use 192.168.6.1 with a subnet mask of 24. And we are going to assign that to bridge 2. Apply. Okay. So next thing is to add a, create an, an address pool. So this is where the clients will get their IP addresses from, from this pool. So already there is a pool um, in the .5 uh, subnet. So I'm going to create another pool for this new network. So go to click on the plus and we're going to leave it as pool 2. And we're going to give it 192.168.6.20 to 192.168.6.30. So the range, so the ranges um, would be between 20 and 30. Okay, that. So. The other thing is to is that we are going to go to IP DHCP server and currently there's one DHCP server running. So I'm going to create another one. Click on the plus. I'm going to rename this to DHCP2 and for the address pool that we had just created. I'm going to pull addresses from pool 2 for this server and uh, click apply. Oh, the other thing is to change the interface to bridge 2 and then click apply. Okay, that. Um, the least time now, if Say for instance you want to sharpen the least time, you could do so here. So, but the default is is 10 minutes, but you can shorten it or increase it. It depends on your need. But I'm going to leave it as the default. The next thing is to click on network, and I'm going to add a new network, which is 192.168.6.0/20. And the gateway now would be the, the bridge 192.168.6.1 with a mask of 24. Apply. Okay. So, so let, let, let me just go back through things that were done. First, we had created, created an address and assign it to bridge 2 then we created a pool of addresses and then created a DHCP server which is DHCP2 and that DHCP server will be using pool 2 to get its addresses and we had created a network 
a separate network um, in for that for that interface so I'm going to do a check now we can look in leases so let us look at lease so we are seeing where there are two devices now connected to the network and we are seeing where one device is on the dot five subnet while the other is on the dot six subnet so and you're seeing the server that is issuing the addresses you realize one is from dhcp1 and the other is from dhcp2 so this is how you go about create running multiple dhcp servers on on a single router you could actually create more if you need to and and um, expand your network depending on your needs so that's it for this tutorial and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and thanks for watching